President Biden's personal attorney says the FBI conducted a planned search of the president's beach home in Delaware as part of its ongoing investigation into potential mishandling of classified documents. The FBI has now searched three known locations linked to the president. CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports. Just before 8.30 this morning, two SUVs and two sedans carrying FBI officials with top security clearances showed up at President Biden's six-bedroom vacation home in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. The officials spent three and a half hours searching the entire home. When it was over, the president's attorney said no documents with classified markings were found, but some materials and handwritten notes from his time as vice president were taken. Final search for classified documents. Mr. Biden ignored questions about the search today, but aides said it was consensual and didn't require a search warrant. The president's been fully cooperative, and he's directed his team to be fully cooperative. Neither the White House nor the Justice Department would say why the FBI went to the vacation home today. Mr. Biden's lawyer said on January 11th they searched the Rehoboth home themselves and had found no classified documents. FBI agents are often able to conduct a more comprehensive search, according to former bureau official Tom O'Connor. So agents are going to be going through each individual document to make sure that it does not contain classified information or that it does not have classified markings. It's the third FBI search of a site tied to the president in three months. It came just hours before he sat down for his first face-to-face -face meeting with Speaker Kevin McCarthy since Republicans took over the House. The high-stakes get-together came amid strong disagreements over when and how to raise the nation's debt limit. I think at the end of the day, we can find common ground. No promises, no agreements made in that meeting, according to the speaker. The White House called it frank and straightforward and said raising the debt limit is, quote, not negotiable. If it isn't raised by early June, the nation could default on its debts. JV? And, Ed, there's also news tonight on a key Republican getting ready to run for president. That's right. Former South Carolina and U.N. Ambassador, South Carolina Governor and U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley had said recently she wouldn't run for president if Donald Trump did. Well, he's running, and now she's teasing an announcement on February 15th. She would be the second major GOP contender to join the fray, with several more expected in the coming months. James? Ed O'Keefe at the White House.